This is a train, a digital train, which will soon be part of our everyday lives. And just like our smartphones, it will have many different applications, such as helping optimize the management of train traffic, automating its operations, very precisely monitoring the carriage of goods, and better managing equipment and infrastructure maintenance. Each of these applications will enhance the railway system's performance as part of the goal to make trains more attractive to use. But for this to work, a telecommunications system capable of maintaining large data flows with a high service quality is needed. Enter the Future Railway Mobile Communication System, or FRMCS. FRMCS is a so-called enabler, making the digital train and all of its new uses possible. FRMCS is a 3GPP 5G standalone mission critical system, which will carry out all of the operational tasks of GSMR, the current railway telecommunications system. GSMR is currently used on 130,000 kilometers of track in Europe and 210,000 kilometers worldwide. However, it is unable to regulate a digital train's large data flows and will become obsolete in 2035. In order to develop FRMCS, UIC has brought together the main stakeholders from the railway and communications sectors. From the outset, the project has been progressing according to plan. In 2020, after intense UIC-led promotion, the European Union allocated two harmonized frequencies to FRMCS for Europe in 1900 MHz and 900 MHz. These two frequencies will allow FRMCS to work across Europe as a whole. At the beginning of 2023, the first FRMCS specifications were approved by the European Union Agency for Railways. They have been integrated into the technical specification for interoperability relating to the control command and signaling subsystems and voted on by the European Commission's member states. This provides the railways with a legal anchor for future migration to FRMCS. The 5G rail project, co-funded by the European Commission, has created the first FRMCS ecosystem. After lab tests, the first hardware and software prototypes based on FRMCS version 1 were tested in the field, delivering on and exceeding the expected results. In mid-2023, FRMCS also became part of Europe's Rail Joint Undertaking Program, strategically aligning future versions of the FRMCS specifications with Europe's rail system developments. A comprehensive European trial for FRMCS, Moraine 2, co-financed by EU Rail, is now undergoing preparations. It will use version 2 of the specifications delivered by UIC to the European Union Agency for Railways to produce a corresponding technical opinion. To set up Moraine 2, UIC has built an impressive consortium which includes many European railways, suppliers, mobile network operators, as well as Unifei and UIC. Moraine 2 will enable the FRMCS specification and ecosystem to be tested on an unprecedented scale in three labs and on five field test lines, including on a high-speed line in Spain. At the same time, UIC is working with its regions to develop FRMCS outside of Europe, making FRMCS a global system. Following the results and takeaways from Moraine 2, the FRMCS version 3 specifications will be finalized by UIC and delivered to the European Union Agency for Railways. The aim is to include this in an update of the technical specifications for interoperability planned by the European Commission for 2027. This will be the first market-ready version of FRMCS, known as FRMCS First Edition. The GSMR to FRMCS migration will then begin. 
paving the way for future digital and intelligent trains. With this important step, rail will more than ever become the backbone of an efficient and sustainable transport system. FRMCS is rapidly approaching. Get ready.